Hello everyone, welcome back to Gent Watches. Today we are doing some Kaguya-sama. This is season three, episode eight. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's eight. It is eight. Yeah, nice. All right. Um, so I this is once again same as last week. This is the minute it came out. In fact. I was going to record before I started the intro, but before I started the intro, I just clicked refresh one time and the episode appeared. So the episode came out five seconds before I started recording this video. Five seconds. So this is the freshest thing ever. Of course, the reaction is going to come out about 12 hours after I'm recording this video because I have to edit it and then go to bed. I'm sorry, it, it I can't stay up until 5 or 6 a.m. to get this video out. I just can't. Um, but uh, regardless, I hope, I mean, you're still here, so thank you for coming. And uh, we're going to be doing episode 8 of Kaguya-sama. Last time on Kaguya-sama, we, we did some preparations for the culture festival. I feel like, I mean, yeah, I feel like we're not going to get the culture festival this episode. Um, and honestly, I don't think I want it yet. And you know why? I think I need some time. It feels like that's going to be massive and I don't think I'm ready for it this week. <laughs> like just like emotionally as, as a human being right now, I feel like it would be too much for me. I think the last episode of Kong Ming, your boy Kong Ming, like got me emotionally invested and I, I was crying. I just watched everything everywhere all at once on this channel. That got me crying. Like I can't handle being that emotional at things and I feel like I feel like that's what the culture festival arc is gonna be I feel like it's gonna be emotional so I might not be ready for that so maybe maybe I'm hoping for this week just to be a, a little you know important but it doesn't need to be like it doesn't need to be the culture festival it doesn't need to destroy me let's just have a simple episode you know just, um, Aka, Aka Sensei, for this one, I know you wrote this many years ago at this point, probably. Um, just make this one a chill one, and next time you can go all out. Next week, I promise. Next week, you can go as far, all out as you want. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just jump in. Although, I'll, I'll quickly say before we start the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and comment on, on the video. Um, helps me out in these early days. I'm getting some... Uh, some new people on the channel. If you're new to this channel, really happy to have you here. Please stick around. It's really great. I promise. So let's get into episode eight of Kage-sama Ultra Romantic. Oh, important to say right here and now, if the volume of these of Kage-sama specifically is uh, lower than other shows. <laughs> It is because I'm having a little bit of trouble with uh, with this show and Ranking of Kings occasionally with content ID stuff. So just so you know, if the volume's lower or there's weird video effects on it or whatever, that's why. I'll try to still make it watchable, but uh, sometimes I can't do anything about it. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. The Shiragane household. <laughs> yeah, awesome. That's all he wears. <laughs> dress cool. Don't ask him to dress cool. He doesn't know what that means. Oh, no. Yes, smart. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, okay, hang on, I wonder if I can guess, um, what kind of thing would Shiragane think constitutes cool? Hmm, maybe like, ah, oh, I don't know, let's, let's go, let's go with the obvious joke, let's go Hawaiian t-shirt, um, board shorts, and sunglasses. <laughs> is that is that something? I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna guess. 
but I don't think that's where Kaguya Sama is going to go with it. I feel like I feel like that's the first thing that popped into my head, so it's going to be, be better than that maybe, but let's see. <laughs> yep, it is better than that. <laughs> and the pat patterns in the background. <laughs> Wait, I have to read that. You aren't supposed to give up the something who is in your soul. The person who thinks with an opinion is blindfolding by himself and is plugging the ear himself. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> It's Alice in Wonderland in the background. He did go with the sunglasses, thought so. Well, he's also his father's son. His father doesn't have very good fashion. <laughs> oh my gosh, constantly screaming at each other. Oh no. Papa Shirogan is home. <laughs> is it all lame? Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Oh, cool. That's nice. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, reach for the moon. Kaguya, the symbolism. <laughs> but it means a lot. Oh. Oh. That's, that's sweet, seeing them bond a little bit, you know? As much as they can right now. Ah, oh, yeah, he looks nice. That's uh, Moe Ha in the background, right? Is she proud? Ah! Oh! Yes! Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Aww. Man, we're getting a lot of Subame here. Wow, <laughs> here? Don't believe that at all. <laughs> oh, now she's interested. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's always looking for a like a get rich quick scheme but for love, you know. <gasps> She's taking initiative now. Oh. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Demo. Yeah, come on. Shiragane is starting to take initiative, you can too. <laughs> oh no, he can slice into your heart. <laughs> She's thinking about it so much. Oh my gosh, her self-reflection as well. <laughs> Man, he's the best. Can you give it to him? Oh my gosh, I just realized that picture of her holding the heart thing is like the poster, I think. Oh, she did. Haya's <laughs> <laughs> like a don't... Don't push her further. <gasps> oh, 
Oh. Oh. That's the most straightforward she's ever said it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, that's very important. The biggest news of the year. <laughs> I mean, it is. Whoa, look at the moon. It's huge. I wonder. I wonder too, Kaguya. Oh my gosh, now it's just... Who confesses first? <laughs> She's going through it in her head! Oh, I... This is the most sensible worries that she's ever had. This is the main hurdle. <laughs> no! We're so, so far into it. <laughs> Think she got me with kind of jealous that she was... Had her arms draped around him. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Why did the announcer not say that out loud? Isn't that normally the standard for the show is they go culture festival magic and then the narrator goes culture festival magic but He didn't read it. He didn't read it. What are you doing man? <laughs> Being logical about a relationship <laughs> Nice <laughs> but yeah oh my gosh yes oh my gosh <laughs> he just went out there <laughs> <laughs> right away! To the culture festival with you? That's a pretty big step, though. To be able to get that out. Wow, he's being so brave. Yeah. He's leaving you behind, Kaguya. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're here. It's going to be next episode. Dual Confessions Arc! I can't believe it. Next episode. Remember at the start of the video, how I begged Aka to not have the important, like the major stuff happen this week and just to push it to next week, just so that I could get a week, like a, a week break. I don't want to have a week without Kage-sama. I just wanted a week of like breathing time between the arcs, you know? This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I think if I was so, like, if I was so hoping for progression, like this episode, I would have been like, ah, oh, just, you know, blue balls, you know? But wow, this is exactly the episode I wanted it to be because it just, we're there. We're there. We're, we're, it brought us right until the start of the culture festival. And that's exactly where I wanted us to be. 
exactly for next week. So next week is going to be the start of something massive. That was episode eight. There are 30, I, th I believe there are 13 episodes this season. I think I can double check that pretty easily. Yep, 13 episodes this season. So, um, yeah, if that was episode 8, we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have five episodes left. That's actually quite a long time. And if there is a confession this season, which, look, I feel like there can't not be. But then again, I mean... I, I feel like they can't not be. I feel like there has to be a confession this season. And if there is a confession, I'm like... <laughs> Isn't it crazy when I'm tearing up more talking about the show <laughs> than, than while the show was on? I just, like, thinking about the potential of stuff happening is making me tear up. Um, but... If there are five episodes of the show, why am I getting emotional? If there are five episodes of this season left, I'm like, I'm, you know, 95% sure that there's uh, more show left after this season, right? Because I, I, I've seen on the front page of Reddit, Kaguya-sama chapters still popping up on the front page. So I think the manga is still ongoing, but... If they confess within these five episodes, then that means that the show continues post-confession, which is amazing and exactly what I want. And I'm hoping so badly that that's what they do. Please don't tell me. Don't tell me in the comments. If you're a manga reader, don't tell me that the that if it does or does not uh, happen post-confession, because that's a spoiler. But if it does, yes, because I I one of my fears with this show it's not a huge fear because the show would still be amazing even if it do did do this but one of my fears of the show is that the final episode is the confession because i think there's so much potential for this show post confession so much and i'm just hoping that that they don't just like give away that potential um oh my gosh oh i'm so i'm so happy i also uh, the reason this was also a great in-between episode for me is because it wasn't like it wasn't massive w like massive events happening but what it was was the setup for massive events it was massive setup and that is exactly what i needed and so it, it's just like the, the pendulum shifting for everything slightly. We don't need to see it reach its pinnacle yet. We just need to see it start to shift the other way. And one such example of that, which isn't confession related, is Kei Shiragane at the start of the episode. Because what we got is finally a little bit of genuine sort of uh, brother-sister connection a little bit, you know, in that... You know, he wanted to go to a culture festival. Um, she said he could. She helped him pick out his clothes. Then she went and bought his clothes, but used the money that he had given her from from birthdays prior. We saw in the it was like the shopping episodes in season one. I think it was season one um, that Kay was always like he on, on my birthday he always sneaks money into my purse. Um, so that's the. That's the money that she's now using to buy him clothes. So it's so much love coming from both sides. And I and love coming from a third side, which is me as well, because I just love seeing that connection. And I love that at the end of it, we saw that like her friends were, you know, Moeha and uh, and I, we don't know the other girl's name, I don't think. But her other friend were freaking out about how cool uh, Miyuki was. He's so cool. He's such a cool big brother. I'd love to have a big brother like that. And Kay was sitting there drinking it up. She And then she obviously went back to Sundere mode. But I just love, I love that we got to see that, you know? Like, we knew that she loved him deep down. And they admitted that she's a Sundere before. I mean, it even, <laughs> even in the dub... <laughs> In the dub, um, it actually goes like, Kei Shiragane can't share these feelings because Kei is a mother flipping Sundere. Like, it actually does, says those exact words. So, there's c confirmation in the show that she's a Sundere. Um, and so, obviously, that comes with the fact that she actually does love Shiragane. 
but it's still nice to see it, you know? It's still great to see it on screen. Um, I, wow, so much happened at the end of the episode that if I didn't have my notes, I would have forgotten that Kaguya said that she liked Shirigane. Like, straight up, no dancing around it. No, I have feelings for him, but I don't love him. No, I guess, like, maybe I, I'm starting to feel some things. No, if he confessed to me, maybe I would confess back to him. None of that. She said, I like Shirigane. She said, Skio. And that is so good. And I, I also just really like how the progression is not one-sided. So many romance things, and this isn't this isn't necessarily something that I is like a pet peeve of mine, or something that I find necessarily massively wrong with the romance genre. It doesn't bother me, but now seeing the way that this is being done, it makes me realize how so many romances, the progression, the character development, and the pushing toward a confession is almost always heavily one-sided. The main character is the one um, who is having to improve themselves and change and grow and do all this stuff to get to the point where they can confess to this person. And I think the fact that in this show, we had Shirogane being the one to make these major steps, these huge, massive steps, and now Kaguya is seeing this gap between them. And what she doesn't know is Shirogane is already building a... What am I going to do for the metaphor for this? She, he's already building a bridge. And the bridge is going to be done by a certain time frame. But regardless, she doesn't know that he's building a bridge. And she is now taking a run up. And she's going to jump that gap. So if she jumps that gap and he's built half the bridge already, they can meet each other halfway. I guess my metaphor worked out in the end, so I'm pretty proud of that. But uh, they can meet each other halfway. And I feel like, I mean, it's the dual confessions arc. They called it the dual confessions arc at the end. So they're both going for it. But Shirogane's confession requirements specify if Kaguya doesn't confess to me first. And Kaguya is basically saying... I want to confess to him. So, if that's the case, Kaguya is going to be the one to confess, but I don't think it's going to be that simple. I'm trying to think of a way that they could both confess to each other. You could do the, the normal, classic, they both say it at the same time. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what they could do. Maybe... I feel like if you wanted to have it be like really poetic, it would be one final mind game, but one that they're both in on. Or they both like purposefully lose the mind game somehow, you know? And then they make it like a really dramatic mind game. And then at the end, they both just purposefully let their feelings go. I think that would be, uh, that would be kind of nice, but I don't know. I'm just gonna trust Tanaka. I'm gonna trust that he knows what he's doing because he has never, ever let me down. This show has been incredible, incredible and incredible from start to finish. And, um, and I say start to finish, even though I'm pretty sure this ain't going to finish it. This is just from start to season three. It has been incredible. So next week is the big episode. It's, it's, well, at least the big start. I, I don't think it's going to be necessarily the big episode. If I had to guess, Confession comes on episode five. But that feels like a long run up. That feels like five episodes to do a confession. I keep showing you in my hands like you don't know what five is. You know what five is. But five episodes to do a confession is a lot. Unless they start focusing a lot on the other characters. They'll focus on... Also, um, Osaragi is dating someone. Dating the leader of the cheerleading squad. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Well, that's the... We can end the video on that. We can end the video on that crazy mind-blowing moment where she's actually in a relationship and that sort of makes perfect sense that she wouldn't see it as like as much of a big deal as the rest of them do but wow awesome okay well <laughs> i'm gonna wrap this video up there what a great episode um thanks for watching 
if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like the video. Please make sure to comment down below what you liked about the video, what you liked about the reaction, what you liked about the, the episode, um, what you might want to see me do on this channel, any of that stuff. That all fits nicely into the comments snugly down below. And subscribe to the channel. I'm getting some uh, new fans onto this channel. And if you're new, welcome. I love to have you. If you're, if you're new and haven't subscribed yet, it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. It will be great. It will be awesome to be a part of this thing. And you all always have a place in my heart. A very small place. It's very tiny. Don't get selfish. But there's a, there's a place in my heart for you. So please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next week for the start of the festival arc. See you then. Goodbye.